She here with my granny's closet. How is everybody doing? How was your weekend? Where did you go? Where did you eat? What did you do? Let me know all the details. My weekend was amazing, a blessing. I got a lot done and I'm still exhausted. Whew, I can't wait to just sit back, relax, crochet, watch a good movie while the kids are out at school and I just have time to myself. As you guys know, the person who needs a vacation most is the one who just came back from one. So <laughs> if my voice gets raspy throughout this video, it's just because I sang so much, so much. We had so much fun. And if you guys notice, or if I'm flubbing some of my words, or I'm not like completely forming my words well, I have a little bit of swelling here. There was some people who owned cats in the cabin that shared the bunks with me that, um, I, and I'm severely allergic. I'm severely allergic to cats. So even if there's not a cat present and you just own a cat and you're near me, I will get an alert. So I broke it in hives. I got a headache. I got a fat lip. <laughs> I had a whole J-Lo monster-in-law situation going on. But I survived. I will survive. You know, hey, hey. I had a blast. But before we get into all that, let's get into some admin and intro stuff, you guys. First off, t-shirt of the day is Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman! <laughs> Gal Gadot. Miss Gal Gadot doesn't spin. Linda Carter does. Let's get it straight, okay? Linda Carter's the OG, the best. Just, ugh. Love that lady. But I love Gal Gadot. She's like one of my favorite... Well, I mean, there's only two Wonder Women, so... <laughs> Linda Carter, Gal Gadot. They're, they're good. She was the best lady to pass the mantle on to. I just, I love it. So, I love it, I love it, I love it. But that's my t-shirt of the day. Okay, admin, if you don't know, now you know. You can find me on Pinterest, Facebook, um, Instagram, all under my granny's closet 3G. If you guys don't know Pinterest, um, somebody was like, I can't find you on my granny's closet 3G. You can look me up also under Refuge T. For my Facebook page, you guys, everything that I sell at my farmer's market if you're interested in seeing that or purchasing any of the items that I sell there, you can go to my Facebook page and that's why I sell it there as well. If you guys are new here or a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me today. You're wonderful. You're wonderful. I really appreciate each and every single one of you guys. All right, guys. Like I do every video, I let you guys know if you're new here, I am ADHD. So if I go off on tangents, if I space out. If I do weird things like make funny noises or, you know, I dance and sing in the middle of telling a story. There you go. That is me. That is me. All right. So the things that I made this weekend for my trip. First off, what I wanted to get done was that blah, 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 dragon belly shawl. So on the way up the mountain, I started. I was like, okay, you know what? takes almost two hours to get there. It did take us almost two hours to get there. And, um, that was the perfect opportunity for me to grab my dragon belly straw and I finished it. Oh, oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> I finished my dragon belly straw, you guys check it out. Dude, Sparkly Summer Nights yarn. Forgive me, I don't know the name. I just know it's Lion Brand Summer Nights. You could totally see the swelling right here. <clears throat> Man, yeah. But <clears throat> nothing that a little relaxation and allergy meds will not cure. So lots of prayer, yeah. Lots of prayer. <laughs> but I finally finished my Dragon Belly Shawl. And you guys, 
I was, we got to the retreat, we unloaded the car, we went into this lounge area just outside the dining hall, and I sat down, and I was crocheting it, and people were like, oh, I crochet too, so a couple of other ladies were standing around, we're all talking, I posted a video of it on my um, Instagram page and my reels, so you guys can check that out, you can't hear what we're saying, there's, you know, video or music over it, but I'm, I'm crocheting this, and Holy cow, I forgot what I was saying. Hmm. Uh, I finished my Dragon Belly shawl. And then, let me see. You guys, what was I saying? Oh, I was looking up pictures, okay? I was looking up pictures on my Instagram feed. And because I wanted to show them a picture of an item that I had made that I was going to be making because they had asked me, did you bring extra yarn? Because it looks like you're about to finish that shawl. I was like, oh yeah. And I showed them, you know, the Picasso rainbow ice yarns that I had brought. And I was like, I'm making a wild oleander hooded scarf. They're like, what is that? I said, it. oh, it's by Wickedly Handmade. You can find it on Etsy here. And I was like scrolling through, I stopped the video and I started scrolling through my feed and I came across the day I posted this when I started this shawl, okay? Guess what day I started this shawl? Oh no, oh no, my lip is starting to twitch. <laughs> oh my gosh, the weird things that are happening to me right now. I think maybe after this, I'm not gonna talk for a really long time because the more I talk, I feel like the more, like it's twitching. I literally can feel it swelling up right now. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> September 22nd, 2022 is when I start. And I'm getting red. Look at this. Lordy Lord. I still have, I didn't like sew in my ends here. So I'm not like completely a hundred and, you know, 10% done. And then I didn't have enough yarn to finish going across. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to rip out this last row do a single crochet ending and then I'm completely 100% done but it's taken me eight months you guys possibly longer possibly longer because that date looks tentative to me <laughs> so I got finally got my dragon belly shawl done I'm so excited yes 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 so just after I finished this I was carrying it in my Z bag. I know it's not by Z, but this is a bag that Z gifted me. And I just call it my Z bag because, oh, by the way, Pam, I got so many compliments, girl, on my beanie. I was like, this is going with me. I'm wearing it all weekend. And I did. And it was just, they're like, did you do that? I was like, no, but my friend Pamela did. And she has a YouTube channel and an Instagram and all that fun stuff. So <laughs> I was like, my beanie is beautiful. <laughs> But I, in, I had my shawl in here and I just, I knew I was going to finish my Dragon Belly shawl. So I brought a couple of skeins of my um, Ice Yarn Rainbow, Picasso Rainbow. And here is the number, 64626. And that is Picasso Rainbow. It is a variegated, but a um, roving yarn. It's beautiful. So beautiful. So soft. So I finished that, put it in my Z bag and then busted out with this wild oleander hooded scarf. Dude, I'm almost done. <laughs> so I started it Friday night and then I continued to crochet it all throughout Saturday on the times, like on our free time when we talked and sometimes during the message when I was just sitting there, um, I would take notes and I would, you know, crochet because you guys, I need something to do with my hands. Otherwise I can't hear what the person, or I don't absorb the information that is given. It's very difficult for me. Um, so with somebody who has ADHD, give them grace when they fidget, please. <laughs> Because even while I was sitting there crocheting, listening to the message, taking notes at the same time, I was bouncing my knee. I was shifting. I was leaning forward. I was leaning back. And what I do is I sit in the up front far right corner. That way I'm almost out of peripheral vision 
and the pastor or the speaker is looking out this way and they can't really see me off this side. So I'm not distracting because I have sat right in front of my pastor before and his eye, you know, would keep getting drawn to my hands and what I was doing. So I felt like I was being a distraction to him. So now I sit far off in the far right corner and I'm out of sight, you know, out of mind. I don't bother anybody and I'm not, you know, sometimes I sit in the front, front seat or sometimes I sit in back of the second, like the second row of the front. That way I'm not distracting the people across from me that can see me crocheting as well. And I tend to try not to bring bright colors with me during, during service, <laughs> just so it's not distracting, you know, the coloring, because people are all distracted by colors and motion and stuff, you know? So I crocheted during the message and things like that, but I, you know, was multitasking. And so, like I said, with people with ADHD, give them grace. They have to fidget. My oldest son has to take a fidget toy with him to school because he needs that, you know, occupation with his brain on one end that way he can focus on the other side so that's one tip for you guys okay <laughs> please give us grace <laughs> we are trying that is how our brain functions in order for us to focus and take in and absorb information otherwise it just goes whew, whew. it's not it's not fun it's not fun the things that we have to do to <laughs> retain the information that is given <laughs> But all day Saturday, I worked on this sporadically throughout the day. We did get to do a craft on Saturday. I was really excited because the craft was macrame. I had never done macrame before. My mom used to do it when she was in high school, and um, she wants to pick it up again just so that she can get some exercise in her hands, just recreational, nothing major. So, um, but ah, I don't know. I did, I totally messed it up too. I have like a hole right here, a hole right here. I mean, to the naked eye and like far away, it's like, oh, it looks really good. But it's like, you know, a Monet. It looks really good far away. But then you get up and you're like, oh, dang, Refuge, you messed that up. Look at that. <laughs> just check. The back looks really good, but the front is just like, bam, that's messed up. So I realized that the ladies for the craft were going over time. And I didn't realize that the ladies for the hike that I had wanted to go on with them had left because I was just so absorbed and trying. I hyper focused. Okay. But I did the macro bay. I didn't end up going on that particular hike, but I tried to find where the ladies went for this hike. I went down the wrong trail and I ended up getting past this invisible demarcation line. I'll post a video right here while I'm talking about this little story. And I'm going to show you some of the things that they gifted us while I'm telling you the story. Okay. They were giving us just these little trinkets and gifts at every meal and even in our bedding area. So when we walked in, we got this with a water bottle and some cookies, little snack when we got there with some water and a book and a little notepad. So all right, so now I'm going to put the video up, and now I'm going to tell you guys about what... <laughs> oh, we got a pen. So I'm walking up this trail, and I get to this point, okay? I get to this point where it's like a silent demarcation line where all the other woodland creatures know not to pass. Do I know? No, am I paying attention to the forest around me? I am, but I don't notice the deafening silence for maybe like a half a minute, like maybe a minute, okay? And then I start to feel this overwhelming sense of being followed or properly termed after the fact, knowing what was out there, <laughs> hunted. <laughs> okay, this is a magnet. You're like, they gave you a business card. No, it's a magnet. And, and it's so cool because this little lady off to the side looks like from far away. It's a yarn ball. <laughs> well, squirrels and birds stop chirping. You stop hearing scurrying, you know. And I get this sense that I'm being watched. But I keep going just a couple more feet. And I realize I really am being watched. 
and it's not just being watched, but I'm being hunted, I'm no longer the top of the food chain. I mean, I have my knife and my pepper spray, but that's nothing against mountain lions, right? So I decide that, okay, I hear you creatures of the woods. I hear you. It's a little honey bear. Isn't that cute? And then we have another, we got my mug. This was my favorite. And then they were doing a raffle. We wrote our name down. They put it in a bucket and they raffled off to every woman an item. See how cute that is. So I start backing up. Backing up. I was like, all right, Forrest, I hear you. And I turn around and I start walking really fast. <laughs> and then I didn't realize how far I had walked. <laughs> so, yeah, man, that was a doozy. But, you know, I survived. Everything is fine. Just like, you know, my allergic reaction, I survived. So next up, we went through all of that. We, you know, uh, through the whole weekend. I worked on my wild oleander hooded scarf on Saturday, and then I, um, on the way down the mountain, I just needed a change of pace. You know how you're working on a big project for so long. You just take a break so that you don't lose your crojo, and then you start a new project. I have like 200 of those, but it's okay. <laughs> um, if you're like-minded or if you're fidgety like me, you're constantly changing projects. You're constantly like, oh, let's make this. Oh, let's make that. Oh, I love that yarn. Let's do something with that. You know, and I think that's with every crocheter. We all tend to do that. Um, so my Z bag was getting too small for my wild oleander hooded scarf. So they had a, a gift shop there. Look at this. Do you see that green? Oh, yes, I love it. The gift shop had this corduroy velvet bag that I was able to put my scarf in and I, oh man, it was perfect. And it carried the extra yarn that I needed. After I came back from my faux pas of a hike, <laughs> I went to the gift shop because I grabbed my yarn. I was like, you know what? I miss the hikers. I'm just going to go back to the rec area. I'm going to sit down, I'm going to crochet. So that when I went back to the snack room or the recreational area, Sorry. Oh, my knee. Woo, that hurt. Um, my, I'm still recovering from my hike. My knee is like kind of funky. Funky. So I sit down on this couch and I just, I was like, something popped up on my phone. I was like, oh, I have service. And it was Alyssa G's um, video that she uploaded. And I was just like, oh, I want to see because she has been prepping for this market for, I think like three or four weeks now. And I'm ex I was so excited to see how she did. And, um, I was able to do that, but then a friend, oh, to watch it and, you know, make more. And then I talked to my pastor's wife. We're having fun. Oh, what is in here? Oh, my hook, <laughs> my hook. Um, so I got a notification and my friend that I drove up with, she was like, Hey, well, one of the ladies was like, Hey, we're going on a walk. I saw you come out of the gift shop. Do you want to come with us? We're, we're, we just there's a trail right as you walk out of the gift shop to the left, follow that trail up. We're at the top of the hill. I was like, okay, so I'll post that video here. It's a, it's a couple minutes long, but I'll post a little bit of me walking up the trail. It's so beautiful. We had so much fun getting all the way to the top and I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go on a hike. So I shoved everything in my bag. <laughs> And I was like, I'm so glad I didn't bring a whole bunch of stuff with me. I took my fanny pack off. I shoved it in here. So all I have is just this and then my water bottle. And I'm walking as fast as I can up the this little trail. And I see them at the very top. It takes me like five minutes to get to them. And they waited for me right outside the baseball field. But once you get to the top of the hill, there's zip lining. There's axe throwing. There's um, archery. And there's, uh, what is it called? Uh, a baseball field. Like, so there's a diamond there and there's a trail that goes all the way up. You guys, I will show you pictures at the end of this video of everything that took pictures of all the forest and, and then I'll, I'll add just all the pictures that I took from this weekend, but it was so much fun. We had so much fun and, uh, it was just, 
walking silently. I wish that I could, I had like a smaller project, like, you know, like a granny square that I could have just crocheted while I was walking and looking. But I realized that this moment of nothing with my hands, clearing my mind, that five minutes it took me to get to the thing or to my friends that were up top. I had at that point, because I missed the, I'm always a loner. And I think I do it to myself because I want to save myself, I guess, the, um, the thought of embarrassment if I over, um, if I'm too overactive, if I say too much, because you guys know I'm a TMI kind of person. If I, you know, say the wrong thing and I embarrass myself because something comes out the wrong way. But I made it a point this weekend to try and <laughs> make friends. <laughs> so I was feeling a little defeated at that point because I had missed out on, you know, the original hike. I couldn't get the macrame stuff. I couldn't figure it out. So I had like, in my head, I was giving up. And there were so many people there. It took a long time to get to each and every person. So I was just like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to go, you know, but women surrounding me were so encouraging. They were just like, you know, you got to just wait, just let you, let's see what you go. Oh, you got it. You're doing so much, such a good job. Well, they were all encouraging one another, you know, so that helped a lot with my mindset, but that five minutes that it took me to, to, from where I started to get to the ladies at the, the, the top of the hill it cleared my mind and it reset my emotions and it reset everything, everything that I had been negatively thinking, reset my mind, get that part of positive encouragement, that, you know, positive mindset. So I was, I was, I was blessed. So finally at the top, we get to the top and oh my gosh, it's just a drop. It's a cliff, a cliff. And then you'll see on this side right here, while this video is playing right here, where I took a small, short, like, the, you know, 20 second video of the cliff and the surrounding mountains and everything. And it's just like kind of an open terrain and nothing but mountains and forests. You'll see it. So we get to the top and I'm just like, wow, this is beautiful. And then I start getting dizzy and I'm like bending down, holding my knees and I'm breathing, putting my head between my legs. And I was like, I forgot that I was afraid of heights. <laughs> And the girls were like, are you okay? I was like, I'm all man a minute. And whenever I felt okay, I got up to look and nope, 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 not okay. Not okay. <laughs> but I tried, you guys, I tried so hard. And finally, I, I it took me a few minutes, like literally a few minutes. And I got up and I was like brave enough. I was like, okay, Lord. Because as soon as I got there, I was like, oh, this is beautiful. And then the vertigo hit and I was like, oh, shiitake mushrooms. And I was like, ah. <laughs> Like, whoa. So <laughs> it was, it was fun. I was able to uh, enjoy, you know, the majesty of his glory and just the, his creation was just amazing. So I, I needed that outing. I needed that reset button. You know, the Lord was just like, reset, you're good. So it was a blessing, but here we go. At the end, we left the mountain. We're driving down. I need, you know, sometimes you need a break, like I said, from your crochet project. So I started on a, the Forest Fay Vest and the, <laughs> the potholes going down the hill was just man, oh man. I don't know what the difference was. I think it was because of the allergic reaction. Plus, I was eating eggs and bananas and I'm allergic, but I can eat a certain amount without having any reaction. Like the, if I eat too much, the most that happens is I get really itchy and swollen in the back of my throat. <laughs> I can still breathe and eat and function fine. It's just really bad. My eyes start to burn. <laughs> it's not bad, but I can't, you know, <laughs> but I had eaten eggs and bananas because I had started getting cramps in my legs, so I needed potassium. So I was eating bananas, and then I had I wanted more protein, so eggs, you know, and that was for breakfast. And I didn't realize that with the, the at that point there was you know cats, so combined with those three powers combined, you got da -da -da -da, allergy lady. So. <laughs> 
no longer Wonder Woman. I'm allergy lady. <laughs> but going down the hill, if I wasn't holding on to the, you know, death bar, the oh shiitake mushroom bar, you know, it was, I was working on the forest facial. And look at that lotus blossom, you guys. The yarn that I caked up from that Z gifted me, dude, I've never had, what is this called? Superwash Merino or hand dyed yarn. You know what? I actually, I take that back because I do have a hand dyed yarn, but it's, it was, um, <clears throat> it was from 2020. My kids wanted to gift me something for Mother's Day. And I remembered in 2020, we couldn't go anywhere. So for Mother's Day, my husband was like, babe, call up Cheesecake Factory, get whatever you want. I've been eyeballing this yarn on Etsy. And I was just like, oh, I can't get it. You know, I'm not going to get it. And then my, my husband was just like, the kids want to get you this. They were on my phone and looking up on Etsy because my middle son noticed that I had been eyeballing this. So they were like, here, mom. He goes, mom, can I see your phone? And my kids eat, were like, oh, we want to buy this for you for Mother's Day. So I got this and I can't believe I forgot that I had this. But yes, I have purchased one and it's Biohazard by Beach Bum Yarn. Okay. And it's 100% superwash merino, 231 yards, 100 grams. I was thinking instead of this green here from what's it called? Uh, Premier yarn that I used. This might be a good secondary color in there. Look at that. Or I could just make a different one with this. Oh, Lordy. So man, oh man. I, I, this was, oh man, I can't even, this was in my yarn caddy. So I don't, it was out of sight, out of mind. But yes, I've had super wash merino, but this is like a long time ago. And <laughs> I barely remembered when I was making this, I was like, don't I have a neon green, you know? Um, but I didn't know it was super wash merino. I just knew it was uh, a hand dyed yarn. So Beach Bum Yarns on Etsy. This is called Biohazard. So cool, right? So this is my second hand dyed yarn superwash merino. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? So I'm excited to get this done and to make more. But you guys, I'm super excited to get this done and to make more and to get all my projects done. I still have one week left till my market, so I still have a ton of things to do. My main thing to get done is my project bags, and then slowly but surely, I'm going to be starting to work on my um, cross cell phone crossbody bags. But that is it for me today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my storytelling today's video. <laughs> I hope you guys had a blessed morning. I hope you guys had a good morning. All right, guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell. Click on the all and it'll notify you when I upload a new video. I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your Monday, a blessed rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Don't forget about my Wednesday live on my Facebook page. You guys have a great day. Peace out. <laughs>
You guys, these are my cool new friends here at the women's retreat. Hi, say hi. This lovely lady named Jen and then Danielle we drove up with and then all our other friends here, Cynthia, Julie, Laura, Laura Kathy. Kathy. We're having so much fun and they don't mind my erratic behavior. No. Oh, you're <laughs> We're all crazy here. We're all crazy here. 